Gulf side wanted us to talk about uh, the univocal language disagreement. Again, mm-hmm. Tom isn't here anymore, so I don't want to speak for him, but I will mention in his book, yeah. he thinks actually Thomas and Scotus are actually very friendly on this matter. And yeah. that a lot of the uh, alleged disagreement is, is overblown. So you could speak to that maybe a little bit, Kevin. Mm-hmm. I think uh, absolutely. Um, I think Tom did a very good job in showing how Aquinas and, Sc- and Scotus um, converge on this issue. Um, and he came up with a brilliant term. I loved it in the book that, um, uh, what is it? The, the term univocal is not a univocal term. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. There's different ways that that term can be taken. And what, what Scotus seems to be emphasizing is something that uh, Thomas emphasizes as well in his doctrine of analogy, that analogy requires some sort of stability of meaning, uh, but difference in application. So when we say God is good and creatures are good, we're affir- the thing that we affirm of both, you know, the, the thing signified, the res significata is the same, but the mode in which it is signified is different because God is per se good and creatures are, you know, per allude, um good. But goodness itself um, is applied to both. The thing signified is applied to both. And it seems um, on, on Tom's presentation of SCOTUS that the same thing is going on there, that you do have some stability across the board but there's also fluidity, fluidity and fluctuation. Um, and that's what Thomas is saying as well. Because Thomas himself says analogy is a mixture of univocity and equivocity. Mm-hmm. It's a mixture between the two. And Scotus seems to be saying the same thing, according to Tom. So, yeah, um, there isn't. there might be a disagreement amongst later generations, Thomas and Scotus on the issue. But when we go back to the primary sources, there doesn't seem to be that much of a difference. Yeah. Great. Thanks, Kevin.